In this video, we're going to recreate two elements from the website jungle.dev. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, in this series, we are re recreating some uh, layouts from other websites using Oxygen, so you can learn how you can create your own custom elements or custom layouts using HTML and CSS. So uh, do not go and copy everything that you see in other websites. Please uh, use these tutorials to learn how to use Oxygen. And then if you go and see something that you like, uh, make some uh, modification just to make it your own. Do not go and hard copy everything you see. So uh, this is a website that was uh, introduced to me by a visitor. He asked me uh, if he could uh, create something like that. So we're going to copy some of these elements. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, show you the website. It's a really nice website, it's a very good website. So kudos to the one that uh, designed that. And as you can see, uh, it has uh, all of those elements. And of course, it's not something that you can go and copy in 10 or 20 minutes. We're going to uh, do a copy of uh, two elements. We're going to recreate this element and we're going to recreate this button. And maybe in another video, we're going to do some more stuff. Uh, this is not a 40 minutes video, it will be less. So we're not going to do all the section. And of course, if you see the section, I think it's pretty obvious what you can do this. This is a, a column, one column with an image and something that we're going to build. And this is another column that has here a button or you can just uh, add a heading, which this is what I would do, would do. a heading with a, a background and some border radius. Here is a heading, here is a text, and here is our two divs side by side with the heading and then a text underneath. So all of those are easy and this is the two elements that we're going to recreate today. So let's start from the button and then we're going to do that one. Let's go to the black uh, page that we have. Let's add here a section. Okay, and I think that's something wrong with my mouse because in some cases I hit and it takes a double click with no reason. Okay, let's open that in a new tab. So we have though that page also in a new page. Okay, let's put it here and let's start by uh, seeing first what we're going to build. As you can see, this is a button so you can download the CV and it has uh, an icon here. It has some borders. As you can see, it has all, also a hover effect and this hover effect change everything. So it changes the icon, it changes the background of the icon, it changes the outside lanes of the icon, and it changes the background of this button as well. So uh, please think how you can create something like that. I give you one or two seconds. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create one div, and this div should contain the download CV and then we're going to create another div for the icon and then we're going to style though that div also and all of that will be in inside a wrapper div and the wrapper div the last wrapper div will have also the link so let's start by adding first a link wrapper and this is basically a div as you can see here let's click that and open that in the structure okay so we have a link wrapper, which uh, link wrap is basically a div with the link. So uh, inside that, we're going to add two divs. Let's add here one div and let's open that and duplicate that. OK, and in the link wrapper, we're going to put that side by side. OK, and let's put that in the middle and on the center. OK, let's go and put all of that in the center and we're going to start building that. So first of all, I want to grab this particular uh, color because I want to know what color is this. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select the inspect element. If you're using Google Chrome, it will be a little bit different. I'm using Firefox, but it's uh, pretty much the same as what they do. They're looking a little bit different, but they are the same for uh, what they do. So I'm going to hover here and I'm going to click in that and I'm going to find the background color. Also, 
this is the background color i'm going to copy that and let's go here and inside the uh, link wrapper for the whole ring wrapper i'm going to add here the background color let's go into advanced let's go into background and here the background color i'm going to put that and also i'm going to do a global color for that which will be the blue okay and i'm going to add that so now that i have that color i can go inside the first div and i can add here a heading which will say download cv download cv if i go here back to this one and select the text i can see that the text uh, is uh, 14 pixels with font weight of 500 and letter spacing one pixel so i can put that for the color of course it's white and for the font size is 14. okay now that we have the size let's save that and see how it looks in the front end okay this is what we have created so far it's not the same of course but we're going to get there so uh, then we have to add some uh, padding inside here so i'm going to add inside the div advanced sizing and spacing and here for the padding i'm going to go for 10 10 on the bottom 20 and 20 okay let's see how it looks okay so we have something like that next we're going to uh, add here the icon so in this div i'm going to add the icon icon Okay, and the icon is a download icon. Download this one. Okay, and let's put that in solid. Let's go for, let's see. It has a background color of white and the blue is the inside color. So the background color is white and the color inside is this one. Okay and let's go for sizing let's go for 25 something like that and space around let's go for five let's see how it looks i think it's less than 25 it's maybe 20 or maybe less let's go for 20 and let's save that and see how it looks in the front end okay so we have something like that and let's put that on top also Okay, so we need some more padding here. We need, I think, uh, the icon is a little bit smaller. Okay, so uh, let's go and check the size of the icon. So the uh, font size says 16. Okay, let's go for 16. Okay, 16. And then we're going to put some padding and of course i'm not going to check everything because i'm not going to do exactly the same but will be pretty close let's go for this div and let's go uh, for a 20. size and spacing let's go for 20 and 20 for the padding and i think this is way too big uh no it looks okay okay so let's go here for 30 and maybe 30 and then we're going to do a little bit of border radius of uh, 40 pixels something like that but this is for the link wrapper and not uh, just for the div so let's go advanced let's go for border and borders radius let's go for 40 okay it's better now 50 something like that now i think that that uh, 40 that i gave here is way too big uh, what was it the padding 20 so let's go for 15 15 and 15 here okay let's save that and see how it looks okay so now uh, this is uh, a little bit bigger and we may check this to see how it looks and how much space does it have so the width is 46 and the height 
is 46 uh, but here we have uh, something else that we're counting on and it's not the same with the width we have the space around so let's go and put 10 and we're going to leave it at 10 for the beginning and we're going to see later on how it looks okay after that we have uh, the other color outside is the blue line here when I hover it disappears and it becomes black so we want that it's about 5 pixels I think so let's go for the icon advanced let's go for uh, border and we're going to select the color to be this one we're going to select 5 for the width and we're going to put solid here okay so now I think I have it but since I don't have another background I'm not sure so let's go to the div and let's select for that div to have a background color of red and as you can see now that I have the background color of red I can see now that I have the outside with the blue color so I think we're okay with that so let's say delete the color here remove the color let's save that again and now I need to put a little bit of white color outside as you can see here we have a white color outside and this will be the the div so the div will have also a border let's go to the advanced let's go for borders and I will give it two pixels or maybe three we will see it later on solid and then uh, white now since the uh, div is a square as you can see it, it is square so I have to go to border radius and give it about 40 pixels and now I have that line let's say that and see how it looks in the front end and now as you can see we're pretty close to this one and I think we are exactly uh, what I'm going to leave it maybe it is a little bit bigger for the white space inside but I'm not going to do that exactly you can play with the settings and do whatever you want right now maybe I will give it okay maybe I will give it a little bit more so let's go for space uh, around to be 12 maybe 12 let's say that it's 12 and we're going to leave it as it is now the second one that we're going to create is this one but we have also to create an effect when we hover it so how we can create that one this is a custom CSS we cannot that do that with uh, what we have in oxygen so for the first one which is uh, just the hover in here I have the link wrapper with the background let's go over the background which is this one and I can change the state to hover and select the background to be black when I hover and then I can go and uh, let's change that to original and once I hover as you can see it changes to black now I need to put a little bit of transition so I'm going to create another class transition and Z Sion okay and this class should have uh, let's go to effects and as you can see I have already created that one but let's go for 0 0.4 okay so now when I hover that let's go and save and see how it looks in the front end as you can see when I hover it it changed to black whatever it does here but here it also changed this one when you hover the whole wrapper it also changed this icon so we have also to add something else to change uh, this so we're going to add the new style and uh, let's go to manage let's go to uh, style sheet and let's go and add the style sheet which will be uh, download cv cv let's name it how we want it just for us to know which one we're going to edit later on if we want to so but uh, bad name because it cannot have a uh, inside uh, uh, spaces so I'm going to add another style and I'm going to add it uh, download hyphen CV okay CV okay so now we have that download CV style sheet let's see what we're going to take we want to go first to manage and let's go uh, structure let's go and hit the button and here we want we want to take this uh, link wrapper the idea of the link wrapper because we want to set a hover state here so when we hover the whole link wrapper the effect will take place also for the icon so 
even if we hover the icon or the link wrapper the same thing will happen and this will change colors so we need to have a state in here copy the id and let's go back to the style sheet uh, manage style sheets let's click here and let's put here the id i'm going to leave a space and i'm going to grab the second id that i want so let's click into the icon and let's go and copy the id of the icon go back to the uh, style sheet and paste the id of the icon so now we have the two ids in here if you never have have done a CSS before, maybe it will be a little difficult for you. So we have to add the pound because we're handling IDs. Whenever we're handling classes, we add a, a dot. Whenever we handle uh, IDs, we add a pound. Whenever we handle HTML elements, we don't add anything. This is how CSS works. So here we're going to add also a pound sign. And this means that whenever uh, this inside here, and I'm going to put here the state hover, so this means whenever you hover uh, this, something will happen in this ID, in this element. So here we're going to open and close the curly brackets, sorry, like this. And we're going inside and hit enter twice. And whatever we want to put and style this will be inside here. So let's go back to the front end and we're going to hit inspect element. We're going to hit this icon and we're going to select the uh let's go for the div this is the fancy icon 2720 2720 let's go here and as you can see this is the fancy icon 2720 this is the id that we have selected so as you can see the border it says here the border top color is this one so the border top is the blue and when we hover it in here it becomes black okay so here we are going to copy the border right color so we don't have to remember anything this is the easiest uh, thing that i can do for you guys i'm going to leave a little bit of space inside and i'm going to paste that in here i'm going to remove the right because i want that to take place in the whole uh, uh, top bottom left and right so we have border color then a semicolon, and then the color that we want semicolon and then the color that we want that to go and once we hover, we can see that this is black. So we can put the black uh, HTML code or type the word black. Okay, and then put a semicolon. So, sorry, this is not a semicolon. I think this is... Okay, I don't know what is this sign. Uh, this is the one that is telling the CSS that the line is breaking. This is the end of the rule. And we're going for the next rule. So now when I hover here, I should see that this is taking place. Okay, the next one will be, uh, let's collapse that to see it clearly. Okay, as you can see, it's working. Now, the next one will be the line outside, the white line, which turns into blue. So, if we go here and we can check the white line, as you can see, the background color is white. This is not the line that I want. And the line is not here because it's in the div outside. So let's go for the div outside, which is the, this one. And this should have uh, its own uh, style. So uh, leave it for the next one. Let's go back to the this div. And we're going to change the background color. Okay, background color is white. So this is white. And when we hover it, it turns it to blue. Okay, let's copy the blue. First copy the uh background color okay let's go here and let's put underneath that a background color semicolon leave a space and then we're going to put the code of the blue what's the code of the blue color this is rule one okay copy that and let's go back here no here and let's put that and then this uh not the semicolon this is not the semicolon i don't know the name of that so, under, under, uh, no, after that, we can see that this is taking place and then we need a color for the icon. And if we go here, we will see that this is the color, which is blue right now. So, we need to add also a color. Color. Semicolon. And then let's go for white because I know that this is white. 
And now if I hover, I can see that I have the same uh, effect. Now I only need the outside line, which is another div. So I need to copy that and paste it underneath again. But now I need to replace this one with the uh, ID of the div. So let's go back to uh, the sections, to the uh, structure. And as you can see, I can select here, let's open the structure, and I can select here the div, and this div has this ID. Block, div block 2420. Let's go back to the page. Okay, not the page, the style sheet, manage style sheets. Global CV, and here I'm going to paste the new uh, div, the div block 2420. And what do I need for from that? Let's see uh, our inspector. Let's go for the div, which will be the 2420. This is the one, 2420. Okay, and as you can see, it has a color of blue. I don't want that. I want the uh, border color. Border color is white. So the border color is white and it changes to blue. Okay, so let's go back to the style sheet. Border color is white and it changes to this blue. Everything else can be deleted from here. And let's see when I hover what it's doing. And as I can see, it's the same thing right now. So let's go here, refresh the page. And now let's hover. And as you can see, I have the same effect when I hover, what we have here also. The last thing that I have to do is, as you can see, this doesn't have a transition effect. And oh, this uh, turns into the next color a little bit faster. So I have to go, uh, this is easier. I have to go back to my structure. I have to go to the div and I have to go and add the transition class and I have to go also to the icon and add the transition class also. And now if I hover they will all take a little bit of time to turn to the next color. So I'm okay with that and now I can uh, end with uh, this one and I can go and start creating the next layout. Okay beautiful. So this is uh, this uh, image that has uh, round corners with the border and there is an icon there and as you can see the icon is on top and when I hover this all changes and we have two lines outside here. So we're going to recreate that as well. I'm going to add another section and in that section I'm going to add a div. I'm going to put the div in the center. Okay and inside that div let's see what we have. Okay, I'm going to add an image, add an image. Add the image and the image, let's go and browse that. And I have already downloaded the image, select the image and this is the image. Let's go now to the advanced, let's go into the borders and for the borders, let's go for this color. Okay, uh, solid and let's go for 20 pixels. Let's save that and see how it looks in the front end. Yeah, I think we're 20 pixels. And then we need a little bit of round corners. So let's go back here and let's go to the border radius. Let's go for 40. Maybe 50. You can see uh, the inner the inner corner here. And you can see the inner corner here. It is a little bit more curvy. And so I need to go and put a little bit more 50. And I think we're okay with that. Next, we're going to add here another icon. So we're in the image, we're inside that div. So we're going to add here an icon. And this is the icon, it's down here. So let's go to that div and let's put that element horizontal, middle and center. And let's select that, let's put that solid and let's see how it looks. Okay, it's a play icon with the white uh, color for the icon and a blue background. So we have a white, uh, this is a blue background and the color of the icon is white. Okay, we have the play icon, play. Okay, this is the play icon and the size, let's go for uh, 30. Maybe 20. 
25, I don't know, 22, 23, something like that. Let's say that and let's see the actual size of the icon. 25, okay. 25. 25, then we have uh, this uh, background to be a little bit bigger. So let's go for space around and let's go for 30. Maybe 35. Let's see uh, it starts from the handle of the backpack to here. And here it starts from the handle in here. I think we are about there. Okay. Now that we have this, I'm going to save that. And I need to create now a, a line outside and a line outside. How can I do that? By adding divs around the icon. So I'm going to add a div. Wrap that in a div. And now that I have that div, I can go into advanced. I can go into the borders. And I can go for a solid with a blue line and maybe uh, one pixel. And because it's, uh, as you can see here, I can go and put a little bit of border radius to 20. No, uh, 40. 40. Let's save that and see how it looks. Okay, I think it needs a little bit more. 50. Okay, now that you cannot see it, I think we're okay. Let's see how it looks in the front end. Yeah, now it, the div is uh, touching the icon, so I need to go and put a little bit of padding. Let's go into the sizing and spacing and let's go and put a padding of uh, 5 pixels everywhere so I can have something like that. Let's save that and see how it looks in the front end. Okay, now I need to see if the space is equal. So as you can see, the space is around 5 pixels. Around 5 pixels, we are okay, I think. Maybe it's a little bit more. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit more. Let's go for uh, 7 pixels and apply all. And also I'm going to duplicate that uh, sorry, not that. I'm going to wrap it in a div. And for that div, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to advanced. I'm going into the sizing and spacing, give a little bit of padding, 7 pixels to everywhere. And then let's go for the borders and let's go for solid. Let's go for one width. Let's go for the color, this one. And let's go and put the borders ready to be 50. Okay, I think now that I need to go a little bit more. So here we are going to also need a little bit more than 50. Let's go for 60. And let's go for the previous one to 60 again or 70 maybe. Because it's a little bit bigger. Let's go for 60 and maybe we need a little bit more. Maybe we need 70. Something like that. Let's save that and see how it looks in the front end. Okay, it's good, I think. It's pretty much the same. Maybe it has a little bit more space, but I'm not going to change anymore. And now what I need to do is go for that div and I'm going to put a negative margin. So let's go for the outside div and let's go to uh, sizing and spacing and let's go for the margin and put a negative margin off. Let's see how it's going to do. Let's go faster. And we're going to go for 70, something like that. Okay, 70. Now, what I need to do is put the lines underneath, as you can see, and the icon uh, above the image. So I'm going to go for the image inside here. I'm going to go to advanced typography. Uh, sorry, layout. There's no typography here. Z index of 1. And then we're going for the icon and we're going to put here Z index of 2. So let's go to layout and Z index of 2 for this one. Let's save that and see how it looks in the front end. And as I, you can see, we have pretty much the same. I think it must be a little bit to the left now. I think it's going to be a little bit to the left, but I'm not going to change it anymore. So the next thing that we're going to do is the hover effect. And as you can see, when I hover, this changes, which uh, is easy. And of course, all of those are changing, which 
are easy also because I probably you probably know how to do that. Now, in order to do the same effect, to uh, hover these lines and these lines change also this, as you can see, the image, you have to go and put this state to the external uh, div, to that div. So whenever you hover that div, this line and everything else, whenever you hover here, uh, this will change. So uh, let's copy that uh, div. Okay, and let's go to the manage and let's go to style sheets and let's add the style sheet. So this is for the uh, image. Okay, and then we're going to paste here the outside element. I'm going to leave a space. I'm going back to the structure. And let's collapse the image. I cannot collapse now. Okay, I have to click somewhere. And now I need to start from the uh, here, from the div, from that div. I don't have to start here, but I'm going to start here. So I'm going to copy this div. Okay. And let's paste it inside the style sheet. Let's go into uh, manage style sheets, uh, image, and here I'm going to paste it next to that. So here I have to put the pound sign, as we said, the pound side also here, and here I have to go and put the state to be hover. So whenever I hover this, uh, I type home, okay, hover. Whenever I hover this, this will change. Let's put some curly brackets. Okay, leave a space here, enter. And this will change. Let's see uh, what is actually everything that we want to change. We're going to hit also the inspector element right now and we're going to click inside the outside div, which is the block 3520. Let's go to the style sheet. 3520, okay, work to the correct one. And let's go and see where is the color. And as you can see, this is the border top color. So border color. Let's copy that. And let's go here and put border color. I'm going to give it a little bit of space. I'm going to delete the top. So I'm going to put it as border hyphen color, semicolon, and then black. Black. And then this one. <laughs> uh, okay. So whenever I hover that, as you can see, this turns into black. Okay. I'm going to copy that one more time for the inner div this one and then one more time again which will be the icon and then one more time again for the actual image okay so the second one is for the uh, inner div let's go and see which div is that I'm going to click here and i'm going to open the structure so i know i'm sure about what i'm doing let's click the second div and this is the class of the second div okay which is 32 20. Let's open here. Style sheets. Okay. Image. And let's paste that here. And now if I hover, I can see that the second div also turns. Next is the icon. So let's go back to the structure. Let's go to the icon. And I'm going to copy that. Okay. Fancy icon 3120. Let's go here. No, I'm always confusing myself. Let's go to style sheet. Let's click image and the third one I'm going to paste here. Okay, and let's save and let's go back here and let's see for the icon itself. Here, the fancy icon 3120. This is the one that we want. So we have a background color and this is the one that is changing the background color from blue to black. So we're going to copy that background color and let's go into the style sheet and we're going to change the border color to the background color. Okay, and if I hover now, I can see that this is changing also and we're okay. And the icon itself stays white and this is easier for me. And next we have the border. So let's go back here. Let's go to the structure again and let's go to the image and we're going to copy the border of the, the div of the image, the ID of the image, image 3020. Let's go back to the uh, style sheet. Okay, this is the style sheet. This is the block that I'm going to replace, the ID, image 3020. Let's go here and let's select the image and see where is the blue color. As you can see, border top 
color so we want border color and we have that already border color to be black so when i hover i can see that everything is working fine so let's save that and see how it looks in the front end refresh and hover that and as you can see now everything is looking good let's close that so thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed that please add in the comments below if you want to see something else from another website and i can see what i can do so uh, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you all ne in the next video. Bye.